All right, y'all. So we about to get into who's capping. Now, who's capping is who's been lying to us, who's been mm. spinning us, who's been yeah. BSing us. And this time, they ain't lying to us. They lying to Jennifer Williams of the Basketball Wives. Now, mm. a man, a man with many names, uh, apparently <laughs> his name uh-huh. is just going to, we going to, we going to land here. His name is Aaron Nichols, okay? So Jennifer Williams of Basketball Wives posted this man over the weekend claiming that this man stole her Range Rover from her. That's right, he stole a car. So she posted up his picture and the Range Rover with a desperate plea for help as she urged other women or men to come forward to her or the police if they knew the man or was conned by the man or anything like that, right? Well, social media always gets to the bottom of things and ask and you shall receive as a gang of people step step up with similar stories, including Uh-oh. a woman that blindly helped him with this con, but she too was a victim. Now, mm. people question how this man even got Jennifer's Range Rover in the first place. And that's when Jen, her lawyer, the second victim, they all went together and did an interview with my girl Yee revealing this. <laughs> We had a relationship at one point, so I trusted him. Um, I gave him my car to basically put up and hold for me because obviously I can't drive two vehicles. And, you know, when I got settled into my house, I asked him for my car back, and he would not give me my car back. He stopped answering my phone calls, and my Range Rover mm. basically disappeared. Doing a little mm. investigating, one, he told me his name was... Daniel Nichols, which was a lie. Mm -hmm. His name is actually Aaron Nichols. And the way that I found that out was I had to actually Google his mother's obituary. Woo! Now, I couldn't find out she was together with this man for a year and had to find out his real name via his mother's obituary that she searched. Wow. Now, Aaron, John, Nick, Santa... I don't know if I sound ridiculous or not. (laughs) We don't know who this man is. (laughs) I don't know what kind of bum you have to be to make a 20. Oh, by the way, she revealed that he's been doing this for 20 years. What kind of bum do you have to be to make a 20 year living out of stealing and lying to not only women, but the plot thickens y'all apparently men are coming forward, claiming this man fake relationships with them, slept with them to not only steal their cars, but also money from them on fake investment. Yeah, this is like Tiger King. So you would have thought this clown would have laid low, right? And just said nothing or just denied the claims. Like, no, I don't know what she's talking about. Never met that girl in my life, right? Mm, Talk about it. That's not what he did. Instead, he decided to start posting conversations with her in screenshots all the way back from November and October. Now, she was bashing members of the Basketball Wives, including Shawnee, who's her boss. She even talked about leaking Evelyn's daughter's nudes. She, um, there was all kind of stuff in there. And that's great. You know what I mean? He called Jennifer an ugly person. He said she begged her to be his love interest, her love interest on the show. He even claimed Jennifer is mad because he no longer wants to be with her. All these receipts, sir, and none of them are for a Range Rover. So, (laughs) you're capping. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. screenshots are lame and so is having to trick somebody to be in love with you a ding dong or whatever just for a living get a job sir amazon ups even mcdonald's is hiring bro but he got a I'm range just gonna rover say ladies huh he got a job he got a job and it's to drop job. off that meat <laughs> let me tell you ladies and fe- ladies and let me just say fellas too because he out there capping y'all too i'm gonna right. just say let this be a lesson everything that glitters ain't gold sometimes mm. it's a rusty penny somebody threw on the floor where it belongs leave it there mm. now you know <laughs> now you know who you are <laughs> You know you're getting involved with some crazy nasty things oh, and the moral of the story is don't let these hoes. I'm L'Oreal. That's who's capping. You can follow me at Star L'Oreal, L R E L, or at Morning Hustle Show. This is sad. Jennifer's posting all these victims, by the way, too, men and women. Wow. Man, he got y'all. He got y'all. He found something he was good at and stuck to it. Hey, man. I mean, perfected it, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a perfected. We, we are the morning hustle.